Hey, well, hello some of my community guys. How are you people doing today? Okay, in this video, if you want to learn how to download and install uh, Windows 10 Virtual Box, this video is for you. And I also want to have a Windows 10 Virtual Machine or any Virtual Machine of your choice, and this video is for you. Okay, please watch the end and don't skip the process. Okay, I want to say thank you to our existing subscribers, those who have taken time to subscribe to our videos. Please, those of you that are here to subscribe, please try as much as you can to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I should drop our video three times a week on educational videos on IT maintenance and repairs and updates. So you'll be able to get follow the update as we drop the updates as any time we drop this video three times in a week, okay? I want to say thank you to all of you that are yet to subscribe and those of you that are hanging on here. Okay, without further ado, before moving to this lecture, let's see how we can install a Windows 10 virtual machine. Like I'm running my PC, let's dive into it. Okay, the first we need to do is to, what, is to go to google.com and we use the search box and type in virtual machine. So as we type in our virtual box, okay, type in our virtual box. That's the first thing we need to do when we want to install, start the process. Please take note here, your system must be connected to the internet from the starting point. And I also tell you when to disconnect it from the internet. So you click on the first one, the VM, Oracle VM virtual box. Okay, like I'm running a Windows 11 on my PC and I want to have a Windows 10 virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is to use a Windows host. So my Windows 11 will be the host, okay? Okay, so I'm using a Windows host. Like you can see, if we have all my and Linux, so but I'm using a Windows host. So I'm downloading the particular um, application, the virtual bus application on my PC right away. So after, I already installed it on my PC, but I'm still going to show you the process of installation. Okay, so this is download folder where it's been installed. Then the next thing we need to do is to what um, is finished downloading to so open the download folder and run the application of the virtual box. Okay, like I said, I already have it installed on my system, but I'm still going to show you the process on the solution. The video might be a little bit fast, but it's just a normal process of installation. So it's just a process of installing it. So it's, it's done installing. You can see it on my PC already. Okay, so next we need to click on the virtual box application. And now let's do the installation of the Windows 10 proper. So click on new machine, click on new. Now click on machine and click on new. I'll type in uh, Windows 10. Since it's a Windows 10 virtual machine that we want to create on the Windows 11. So type in Windows 10. I will just use um, VM, Windows 10 VM. Then at this point, you browse your operating system, which is your Windows 10 operating system. Whatever it is, yours can be on the desktop, mine is on the hard drive, yours can be on the flash, anywhere. But it must be on ISO 5, okay? Your Windows operating system that you want to store on the virtual machine must be on an ISO 5, okay? So now let me locate my Windows 10 in my hard drive. So this is my Windows 10 ISO 5, so click on it. Then the next thing we need to do is to what? Click on next. When you click on next, it will take you to where you put in your username and your password. Okay, so I'm putting in my username and my password for the virtual machine. Sometimes it might not tell, it might not give you the option to click next. Okay, when you put in your username and password, all you need to do is to what? After you've put in your username and password, you click on back. Okay, since the next is not active, click on back. So once you click on back, you want to check skip unattended access once you keep on that to give you the option for next now i have a 12 gig memory running on my system i'm going to allocate 3 gig out for my virtual bus out of my 12 gig memory running on my pc so i'm allocating 3 gig so i'm, I'm done locating 3 gig and also allocating the hard drive of my pc i'm locating maybe 21 gig recommended was 50 but i'm going to do 21 gig for my hard drive virtual machine so i'm done so next thing we need to do is so what see my virtual machine the same virtual machine is now installed inside the application so now we're going to run the installation properly before that we click on settings go to storage and make sure we select our iso file which is the windows operating system and click on ok now at this point what you need to do is so click on start or run so the installation proper it's going to heat up immediately. So now we want to start the Windows installation 10 on our Windows 11. 
So we are starting the, in, uh, the virtual machine installation properly. Like you can see, this is a normal Windows 10 installation. Now you tell it to pop up your, so you, see, you browse your ISO file, your Windows 10 ISO file, or your Windows 10, whichever virtual machine you are creating. I'm creating a Windows 10 virtual machine. Okay. So now this is the installation process. Now at this point, I might need to fasten up the video because we really don't need this uh, installation process. We all know how the these are just normal way to run an installation so i am not here to teach the installation so i'm, I'm going to run make the video faster when it comes to the installation process so at this point let's hit on install now installation is going on now at this point once you have done installing i recommend that you once it has counted and you want before setup, make sure you disconnect your internet like I'm disconnecting right away. So I'm disconnecting my internet and my Windows 10 is already setting up. Okay. So putting your username and you know, normal setup. So once you're done, you see our Windows 10 running properly. Okay. So now now we understand it's almost done installing on our virtual virtual machine. Now, next thing we're going to look at, you see, this is our Windows 10. Now let me shut it down and just close the application. Go to the virtual application and click on Run so that we can see it load properly. Like I said, we've just created a Windows 10 virtual machine on the Windows 11 PC. Okay, so now the Windows 10 virtual machine is starting up. Okay. Now let me just restart it properly. Restart, click on stand, click on restart. So it's restarting. So if you find this video helpful, like I've seen that Venture the 10 virtual machine has been running on this PC. Please find this video helpful. Please share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Put on the bell notification icon as our video drop three times a week. You'll be one of the first persons to get our video. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.